Hello everybody, welcome to Proline's Deliciousness from the World of Art. The protagonist of this episode is Omar Gagliani, born in Montecchio Emilia in 1954. Inspired by his grandfather, who possesses extraordinary manual skills, Omar Gagliani soon understands that art has always been closely connected with man's ability to interact with nature. What's more, his grandfather takes him to see the works of the Mannerists, especially those of Correggio. The softness of the master's oeuvre overwhelms the boy with enchantment. These masterpieces instill in Omar Gagliani a keen interest in making drawings of animals. At the Academy of Fine Arts in Bologna, thanks to Concetto Pozzati, Omar Gagliani enters into contact with the major exponents of the art panorama of those days. He his first solo exhibition was held in 1977 at the Studio G7 Gallery of Ginevra Crigolo. It showcases large works on paper where Omar Gagliani reproduces details taken from old masters' famous paintings. Now and then, he incorporates pieces of glass or leaves of gold in his artwork. To tell the truth, the Studio G7 has already presented the artworks of Giulio Paolini an artist who has extended his inquiry to classical antiquity, yet remained rigorously close to the conceptual domain. What stands out in those days is the renewed interest in drawing, or even better said, the technical virtuosity of Omar Gagliani. His friendship with Flavio Caroli leads to the establishment of the magical primario group, which strives to overcome the aridity of conceptual art in order to reach the possible possibility for a new beauty and a new seduction and to dig deep into the research for the archetypal entity forever nested in man's heart. Almost at the same time, in 1984, the art historian Maurizio Canvesi launches at the Venice Biennale an art movement called anachronism, whose aim is to kindle a dialogue with the earlier models of making art. Practically, this movement tries to give a response to the dominant conceptualism by highlighting the characteristic of the Italian culture that finds in painting, more than in the pure philosophical thought, an exceptional instrument to bespeak its nature. As we all know, it's Leonardo da Vinci that attributes utmost importance to painting considering it as the sole imitator of all the manifest works of nature, even though this idea has already existed in the Neoplatonic school of thought, dominated by the philosopher Marsilio Ficino. This idea sustains that, in his artistic creation, man employs the same universal principles God adopts to create the universe. In his practice, more or less, the artist becomes a real God that plays a key role in enriching the beauty of the divine creation. This leads us to reflect on the supremacy of drawing, an expressive medium used not only in the different forms of the arts, but also, as Leonardo da Vinci puts forth, in all sciences that provide insights into the universe. In the 80s, Omar Gagliani executes a series of paintings that has as protagonists both the mythological images and colors such as cadmium red or copper. After undertaking this line of research for a decade, Omar Gagliani decides to reactivate the Renaissance idea by concentrating on drawing, which remains his sole and distinguished technique ever since. Essentially, he prefers to make drawings on polished poplar wood. At times, he scratches the surface with sandpaper to make it vibrated with life. Furthermore, the fact that he employs a graphite, a soil material, fills him with alchemical fascination. The images from which Omar Gagliani draws inspiration are taken from glossy magazines. In other words, they are taken from something destined for an immediate fruition and then for a rapid destruction. Yet, his artistic talent has the potential to elevate these images to a spiritual resonance. So, 
we can say that through Omar Gagliani's work, the beauty trivialized by the consumer society regains its legitimate place, a sort of hyper-Uranian, a sublime and incorruptible world. Furthermore, conducting an in-depth study on the myth of Narcissus, Omar Gagliani, through his Siamese drawings, elaborates the idea of beauty in search of its equivalent. As Leonardo da Vinci explores the human body in order to discover its functioning, Omar Gagliani, always through his art, finds out new anatomies, a kind of tattoos or embroideries realized under skin. He later engages in subjects as skirts, rib cages, backbones, or teeth, not considered as a memento mori, a contemplation on the transience of this world, but more or less as examples of perfect and unchangeable forms. And to some extent, because our society has destroyed the sense of the sacred and has neglected the sense of the past, Gayani takes source from the popular characters of glossy magazines, the so-called new sense the contemporary society venerates. Finally, in his continuous search for new ways to express beauty, Gayani turns to the East as a wellspring of inspirations, especially to China, where his work is highly appreciated. Omar Gayani's work, obeying his artistic vocation, has therefore the mission to reveal to the world the beauty wherever it manifests itself. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Prolines, Deliciousness from the World of Art.